This video uh, will demonstrate how to uh, install Eagle CAD, which is a software that can be used for schematic and uh, hardware layout of electrical systems. Uh, Eagle is uh, a German company and here I'm on the website and you can download it for free uh, for whoops for uh, hobbyist users and you can see the limitations of the uh, freeware and the freeware is going to be limited to the size of your board which needs to be four by three inches and there can only be a two layer board in addition you only get one sheet in your schematic also these uh, this freeware should only be used for nonprofit applications uh, if you fit all these requirements you can go ahead and download Eagle and it, depending on what uh, operating system you use you click here uh, I've already downloaded the software so when you first download the software you're going to uh, open it and it will show you a, a bunch of folders under projects it will show you uh, cam jobs which is how you convert your uh, your layout into uh, Gerber files for manufacturing uh, scripts which are uh, basically macros that help you uh, program uh, create your schematic and layout quicker also user language profiles um, design rules design rules help ensure that you don't uh, violate any of the limits of manufacturing and finally your, your libraries and your libraries complain, uh, contain all of your schematic parts and layout parts so what we're gonna do when we create a new project is we'll go up into projects you can create these folders and under one of these folders we'll right mouse click and select new project so in Eagle when you first create a project go ahead and we'll name this uh, demo board one and it'll be a red folder instead of a manila folder and then we create a schematic so this is your schematic page and this is where all the parts will be added to your system and it is it's very important that you don't generate your layout first because the layout will actually be generated from the schematic so I'll go ahead and do a short example here uh, just to give you some familiarity with the software um, the this is the add button and this is how you add components uh, delete obviously move copy uh, mirror rotate they're all pretty self-explanatory um, the name tool is important if you want to change the name of a component as well as the value uh, tool for resistors and capacitors uh, the smash tool is helpful if you have a um, if you have a name that might be overlapping uh, another component that you want to move smashing actually allows you to manually move the label I'll go over these later um, there's also the this is the wire tool that's how you hook up your schematics your text tool so you can write you can draw various shapes uh, label nets have buses uh, your junction tool is used for ensuring that wires are connected so if you have two wires cross over they will not be connected unless you use the junction tool uh, the label tool helps label nodes or show the label of nodes then you have attribute dimension uh, ERC is uh, electrical rule check and what that does is that ensures you didn't violate any of your uh, uh, rules that you've set as well as uh, ensure everything's connected and there are no crossovers without junctions and things of that sort and the, the those errors will pop up here so the uh, I skipped over these uh, top few buttons and a lot of these are very critical the most critical is your layers so uh, layers are important because they tell you you know you can hide different things on the schematic so you'll be coming up here often especially when we get to the layout portion of uh, this so first let's go ahead and we'll add we'll jump right into it and add a component so you can see you get all your libraries in here and if your libraries are not there which may happen to you uh, go into libraries and you want to make sure there's a green bubble by 
every library that you want. So this is helpful if you want to ignore some libraries. Uh, normally I just keep them all in there so I can always find whatever component I'm looking for. And these libraries come default with Eagle. Uh, you can also create custom parts, which I will cover in another video. But let's go ahead and some of the important ones are supply. So supply one, and this is where you'll find your ground and your voltages. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the 3.3 volts. Throw that in here on the schematic. Then we'll also grab a ground. So once these get in here, it's pretty easy to copy them over. And we'll do a simple, uh, uh, we'll just do a simple resistor network for our first uh, attempt. So you can see there is a resistor section that you can use. For your resistors, I prefer using the RLC section, which contains the capacitors and the resistors together. So we'll go in, into here into uh, RCL and then to RUS. And if you're not familiar with, you know, you might be overwhelmed by all these parts, but it's very uh, important that you pick a part that matches what footprint you use. For most of my boards, I like to use 0603 components and make sure you use US, not metric. Uh, I've seen people who make that mistake where they actually use the European 0603, which is not the same size as the American uh, symbol. So just be sure that you, you select the correct one as I select here. And I'll go ahead and I'll add uh, two resistors there and then cl click escape a few times to, sim to get it out. And I will, let's go ahead and zoom in here. And we will take this resistor here, a resistor here, and then I will use the wire tool and hook up these nets. So what this did is now uh, we've actually created three nodes. So, or three uh, also called nets. And we can check each net by using the eye tool. So I can click here and it'll highlight all, if you see in the bottom left, all the 3.3 volt nodes. Uh, we can also click the I tool on this middle node. It'll be labeled N1 because it doesn't have a specific name. And this one will be labeled ground because it's connected to ground. So I'm gonna actually use the name tool right here. Click name. I'm gonna name this middle node uh, V out. So now if we come back with the I tool, we can click there and on the bottom left it now shows V out. And so that'll be consistent throughout the schematic. Also these resistors have yet to uh, have values. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the value tool, click on the resistor and I will add 1K for uh, and 10K for R2. So you can feel free to change these and they will not affect the, uh, the footprint uh, or the layout so that you can change those later. And let's go back and let's add. So we need somehow to connect uh, these voltages and measure these voltage from the board. So I'm going to go down to the uh, go to pin pinhead. So pinhead is a section where they actually give you a bunch of uh, pin direction or a number of pins that you can connect to. So you can see on the left here, this is the schematic symbol that they show. And the schematic symbol uh, is what will show up on your schematic, obviously. And this is the layout that will go with it. So you can see this layout actually has two, two holes here. And these holes are where the pins slide, <coughs> excuse me, slide through your board. And you can solder to these. The green part means it's going to be uh, uh, copper. So you can solder directly to that. So we have three nodes that I want to hook up to. So I'm going to go ahead and use a one by three uh, pin head. Click here. I'm going to add it to the schematic. Just like that. It will be labeled JP1. And I will now use the copy tool to copy over this voltage node. And also copy the ground over here. Go ahead and hook these up. So now pin three will be ground. Click Escape, 3.3. So you notice you can right off click as I go, and it'll actually change the way that the wire is drawn, as shown up here. 
So this isn't as important to you as it will be in layout, where it's much more uh, artistic based. But I'm going to go ahead and use the right angle and go ahead and hook that up. So you might notice that I can I lock pretty easily to the parts, and that's because we're using a grid size of 0.1. Sorry, I selected that from uh, this this uh, dots, the square dots in the top left corner. And I could also I can turn on the grid if I want here, and it'll actually show you where the wires will lock to, which is helpful for a lot of uh, schematics. So I'm going to go back to the wire tool, and I want to hook up this uh, number two to uh, to V out. But instead of actually hooking it up to the wire, I just want to show you that you can just leave the wire here. Click name. We'll name this wire V out, and so it's going to ask me to connect uh, n n dollar sign zero or dollar sign one to V out. And so I'm going to say yes, so that this guy and this guy will become the same node. And to help it to make it easier to read the schematic, I'm going to click the uh, label tool, draw the label of each node, and there we have uh, our V outs connected. So to end this video, I'm going to save. Uh, you know, I'll call it demo board one schematic. Save. And you can edit this later. Uh, and I just want to show you quickly that in order to generate the layout, we're going to click this generate slash switch to board. It's going to ask you uh, if, if they want you to, cre to create the board file from the schematic. And you're going to say yes. So now in the layout, you'll see that we have uh, two resistors with our pins that we added. And we'll be able to put those in layout and add them together. Uh, Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this was a good introduction to Eagle, and I will uh, add more videos uh, to help assist this one.